Okay. Well, we're going to head in right now into the devotional that um, it is in our newsletter, and every week you will see a different leader who will be teaching, uh, giving a devotional, and it is the focus is going to be prayer. Since we are a prayer ministry, that is our main calling, to intercede and to lift up King Jesus. So as the director of Pray California, I'm kicking it off this week. And then next week, our wonderful assistant director, Wolfgang Kovacek, will be doing the devotional. And the following week, um, we're going to go through the board of directors. And then we are going to start inviting our county prayer leaders and like the co-directors of the state capitol. So that means you, Laura, and others. So we just say thank you, Father, for that. So because um, we're going to do this, the introduction, the reason, the first devotional. Okay, so I'm going to start just a little explanation before I begin. The first devotional should be on prayer, basic prayer 101, and answer the question, what is prayer and what is needed to pray according to God's heart? So now I'm going to kick off with the devotional. Prayer is not complicated in its most simple form. It is talking with the Lord. I say with instead of to the Lord. When you speak with someone, you also listen. All prayer takes is a humble, hungry heart that desires to move closer to God. James chapter 4, verse 8a says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you, whether it is a person who believes in God and that he hears and that he hears your voice, or one who is a lost soul but is sincerely seeking him. First Samuel chapter sixteen seven B says, The Lord looks at the heart. He recognized a Pharisee type prayer that is publicly spoken pridefully, and without love for the Lord. In Mark chapter 7, verses 5 and 6, we read that when the Pharisees and scribes asked Yeshua, Jesus, why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? Yeshua answered them and said to them, well, Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Prayer is a heart issue. And look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 5, when Yeshua exposes the Pharisees for praying to gain attention. He instructed his disciples, and when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the street that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Prayer is the simplest act a child of God can do. It is divine communion with our Heavenly Father and with Yeshua, our Savior, led by Holy Spirit. It takes trust and faith in God to pray. It takes hope in him and in his promises. When we set time aside to pray, either individually or in a group, as we're doing on this Zoom call and on conference calls or at Bible study or at church or at the grocery store or or when we're driving or doing laundry or whenever, for we are called to pray unceasingly. God hears. Prayer is a vision of the believer. It gives eyes to our faith. In prayer, we see beyond ourselves and we focus spiritual eyes on God's infinite power. Prayer is also our indication of trust in our Heavenly Father because only in prayer do we surrender our problems to God and ask him, for divine intervention. Prayer is spiritual communication with our Heavenly Father. We always want to be in the presence of the Lord 
and praying, speaking with God is a beautiful way to stay with him. He delights when his children talk with him, whether it be to share challenges or needs or ask for something or to weep and tell him of the day-to-day challenges we face. After all, he is our father, our creator. He loves us so much. He knows us better than anyone ever can or anyone ever will. And despite our foolish and often selfish ways, he still loves us. And he loves to see us grow deeper in the knowledge of who he is and what he says. If you love someone and put them first in your life, you want to stay in close relationship with them and share day-to-day things. And that's what God wants from each one of us. We can easily accomplish that through prayer. Tell God your dreams. Share your heartaches. Yes, he absolutely already knows. But when you confide in him, it establishes a deeper relationship. He is a covenant-keeping God, the one and only true and magnificent God, creator of heaven and earth, the one who hung the stars in the sky and calls them out at night. And he is our God. So, Father, in this new year, we just thank you that we can approach your throne of grace and speak with you. We thank you, Father, for the gift of prayer. And we thank you the Holy Spirit makes moanings and groanings on our behalf and Yeshua intercedes on our behalf. But we thank you that we can approach you and that you listen when we come to you bowed low, giving you our hearts and our lives. We thank you, we bless you, and we love you in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. So that's our prayer devotion for this week. 